one. Okay. Hi, Diana. So hopefully you have your box of parts for the Mimo wall. The first thing you want to do is open up the box and take out the glass. It's in this folder right here, and you'll notice that it has a beveled edge. And the beveled edge is really to receive the H molding from glass to glass sections. The H moldings are generally these small pieces that are located in the box. And if you look at them, they are shaped to receive the glass. So if you had a second piece of glass, it would go on, on this side of it. The next thing you want to do with the box, generally on the far right side of the box, is a piece that looks like this. This is our main bottom extrusion. It also has the ability to have an adjustable base if you need it, if your floor is not centered or level. So these these extrusions just slide right into the frame and the frame size is the same on the bottom, on the side, and on the top. So the glass then fits if you have single center glazing into the frame like this and the aluminum channel would fit next to it, such as this. If you have glass that's going three ways, you would use a different aluminum channel. If you do happen to have locations that have double glazed, you want to pull out this piece out of your box. It should have the gasketing on two sides. So then what you would do is you would remove the glass and you would slide out the single glazed extrusion and you can snap in the double glazed extrusion and the glass would fit in like this and a second piece of glass would be directly behind it. If you had a sliding door, the door would actually slide in the center of an adjacent piece of track that um, you would have next to this so that you can slide the door in the same location as the wall. It doesn't have to slide outside the wall. The next piece that you might need would be the piece for offset glazing, which would be the same extrusion, but it only has the gasketing on one side. That would then, again, slide into the bottom track or snap in, and the glass is on one side. Again, this can be used either with sliding door or an adjacent double glazed wall. You usually won't need this if you just have single glazing throughout the entire project and you don't have sliding doors. The rest of the pieces in the box really have to do with the door frame and any intermediate posts, which you probably won't need to be demonstrating to your client. So what I suggest is that you take these pieces out of the box that I'm showing here. The glass, the metal extrusions, the single glazed insert, the double glazed insert, and the side glazed insert. And with those pieces, you should be able to show how the system works. Again, this would become a side or top of the track. The track is very thin, only about an inch and a quarter dimension. So call me if you need any details or CAD drawings, and we can send them to you. There's also some diagrams on the top of the box. Good luck!